guys, Emily here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another book review. Um, today I'm going to re be reviewing the book called Arsenic and Adobo and um, it's by an author named Mia and I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name because I know I'm going to butcher it and I just don't want to be disrespectful and mispronounce somebody's name but I will put the um, picture of the book cover in the thumbnail so you guys can see um, and I'll also tag her name in the tags on this video um, anyway so this book is classified as a cozy mystery and I thought it was really 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 good um, it was it's about a young woman named Lila and she moves home uh, from Chicago to this town called uh, Shady Pines. And um, she's raised by her aunties uh, because her parents have um, been passed away and they've been passed away since she was little. Um, and the, her aunts run this uh, Filipino um, style restaurant. Um, as well as her grandmother. And uh, in the book, um, someone comes in who is a food critic and actually Lila's ex-boyfriend. And um, he is, um, uh, he, you know, he's review reviewing the food and he um, passes out and he uh, pa ultimately ends up passing away. And um, they find um, arsenic in the food, which obviously, um, like Lila and her family wouldn't, wouldn't do. Um, so uh, they get shut down for a long time, like a week. Um, and then um, they uh, have to get, uh, like reopened by the the food inspector and there's a lot of crazy things that go on um because uh it turns out that uh this guy the food critic was um doing it to other restaurants too and he would like threaten them um you know because some people had um you know undocumented immigrants working for them this and that like just other things that doesn't have anything to do with anything like that. Um, and he would threaten them and he would say, oh, well, if you don't use this specific contractor, if you don't use this specific person or th do this or that, uh, then, um, you know, we'll get you shut down or whatever. Um, and then Lila actually ends up going to jail for a night because uh, the police find um, substances planted in her locker. Um, and she was like, I would never do that because uh, she has a history of um, an ex-fiance ex who used to be a substance release person. I'll, I'll just say that. Um, and you know, something, you know, all that stuff. Um, and then there's just like, there's just a bunch of crazy twists and turns, but, uh, ultimately, um, they do get their restaurant back open and Lila clears her name. And actually, um, the aunt signs over the restaurant to her and, um, her best friend uh, works at a cafe next to her, so she was like, "Oh, you're you're staying in Shady Pines, and you know, blah blah blah, and whatever." And there was a couple love triangles going around too. Ultimately, this was a really good book. Um, it got me out of my reading slump, which I much needed and I enjoyed. And I just recommended the second book um, to my library, so hopefully they get it. And it's actually a trilogy. Um, and the third book is expected to be released, 
I think October of 2022, so a couple months from now. So I'm super excited to keep reading and I loved this cozy mystery and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.